Dear Jim, since football field fuckery sent you over the edge and you swore off watching AEW, we've quit watching too. It's just no fun anymore if we can't hear you articulate what we all feel afterwards. Dirty and in need of a shower. <laughs> Should I just start? Shut the fuck up. Cornette says, Shut the fuck up. Buck Hogan, balding buck. These two smarmy little fucks, young fucks, <laughs> guess who? The middle aged bucks. <laughs> they don't have the testicles or the guts. Oh. It's like they're on fucking drugs. Everybody else is going, What in the bloody fuck? We've talked about here on the show how ridiculous the young bucks book cover is. <sighs> Why would that be the picture they chose, them looking at each other's dicks? <laughs> Why are they looking at each other's dicks? They're Christian, only been laid once in their life. They didn't have cock on their mind. They probably thought, we look like we're praying. God damn it, this is so ridiculous. I am not lying. I don't fucking know these nerds. The bucks are pussies. It's not just size. It's those two little goddamn schoolboys. But it's the shit they do. <laughs> and the fucking look they have on their face, where they're winking at her. Oh, it's all cute. <laughs> they're going to take on TH2. Oh, joy. Can you imagine the mess from those four trampoline gymnasts? This team, Hybrid 2, is fucking awful. I'm not a Lucha Brother fan either. These two fucking sock-faced fucks. The Lucha Brothers can't punch. Fuck you, fuck, fuck. you, you. They were helping each other balance. They can't do their own moves. They can't do their own moves with each other. Goddamn goop suits. They suck. The chuckle fucks. Me. They suck in the ring. The butcher and the baker and the candlestick maker. They suck on the mic. The dork order. Fucking goops and the masks and the minions and the creepers. Fuck the best friends. And I feel bad for FTR. FTR has become two of the boys. You fucking idiots. You're gonna blow this. They're more polite than the baby faces. Next time one of these ballet dancing hot suckers tells you that they're gonna fucking dive on you, just walk out of the fucking way. The AEW women's division. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I fast forwarded. I said fuck it. Speaking of fuck it. Our little dog pocket. Dim with dipshit. Our little dog pocket. As a stupid gimmick. Our little dog pocket. He can't punch or kick. Our little dog pocket. This guy needs to be beat with a fucking stick. Fuck you, you fucking prick, you piece of shit. Has anybody yet offered any explanation as to what this goof is, why he acts the way he does, or why the fuck anybody puts up with it? He talks like a bored teenage girl. Fucking prick. He looks like a fucking accountant. He's just bland, plain, small, good. Fuck your hands in your pockets, twiddling with your tiny little penis and your microscopic little ball. Blech. Cody is being infected with this fucking disease from this fucking clown. I didn't know that it was possible to make professional wrestlers look any more stupid and ignorant to the general public. But this fucking clown has achieved it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Has anybody explained why if a guy's getting in the ring and play kicks you in the shins that you don't take the opportunity to knock the fuck out of him like the piece of shit that he is? He's a piece of shit. Our little dog pockets. He sounds like he looks. Our little dog pockets. And that ain't good. Our little dog pockets. Phony fucking goo. Our little dog pockets. Plain looking fuck. Our little dog pockets. Look like make a wish. Our little dog pockets. And that ain't good. Our little dog pockets. Phony fucking goo. Our little dog pockets. I don't know whether I'd rather see his neck fucking go sideways in three different directions or just see his brains explode on the fucking concrete. Moving on. The Mimosa Mayhem match. Oh, no. Pockets versus Chris Jericho. Our old friend Chris. The first thing I wrote, I hope somebody shows the video of this to Vince McMahon. Can you hear Vince? Have a, have a laugh. Have a joke. After one headlock, Jericho's belt broke. He will laugh until he has a stroke. <laughs> Former mainstream wrestling star Jericho. Chris Jericho sadly out of shape past his expiration date canned ham on a game show. And I'm just so disappointed in what Chris has done to himself and become. And everybody thinks they're a fucking comedian. People tell me, oh, you just must hate fun. You know, I hate stupid, disrespectful shit done by stupid, disrespectful people. Chris, it's been nice knowing you, but fuck you. Now you've got MJF with shit all over his face, too. Can you not exercise any goddamn control over these fucking idiots? Just take your dick out, Chris, and just check Jack off on Tony Khan's face. Cause you've just ripped him off and raped him a jack off. Jack off on Tony Khan's face and slooge in his eye. Na 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 that's coming. Sports based. Have you ever seen a billionaire prison rape? <laughs>
For fuck's sake, Tony Khan, you fucking four-eyed fucking freak. You look like a seal peering through a block of ice. <laughs> Admit you've made a mistake and you've got bad advice. Somebody to write the show that knows what they're fucking doing instead of doing this because they used to jack off in their fucking room at night. Ragtag, circus freak, gypsy looking fuck. Can't even do squash matches right. This program is being booked by and for people who were bullied and picked on in fucking high school. Fuck y'all. If you found entertainment in this, you might be one of those people that likes to have their fucking balls nailed to a step stool. <laughs> Tony Khan's name means absolutely dick all of shit. Nobody gives a shit. A fucking silly billionaire. That's your real sports analytics. Take your real sports analytics, Tony, and shove them up your ass. Rick Moranis with fucking extra curly hair. Probably can't even get his fucking willy hard. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm repulsed by their product. Blech. If you don't present wrestling as if it was real, then there's no goddamn reason to do it, because then you're just doing a fucking fucking fake fight scene in front of a bunch of fucking stupid people. How dare you? Tony Khan would have been the guy that they turned upside down and shook for change after fucking school and stole his lunch money. A nerd with glasses that they went up and thumped his fucking nose fucking give a fucking billionaire's little fucking spoiled kid a giggle. <laughs> How dare you, sir? He's wasting his father's money and that this is all a goddamn variety of horseshit. They've spent money on this. Turner wanted a sports-based presentation. This is the opposite. It's anything but. He's getting fucked. He may like getting fucked. How dare you perpetrate this on all all the people that have given their blood, sweat, and tears to keep this industry going for the past 125 years so that you can shit on the airwaves. That was me spitting on my fucking microphone. Closing thoughts? Eh, not really. Good.